All right, hey everyone. I was just uh, rainy early Sunday morning. I was gonna mow the lawn and then it rained. So I was unable to do so, rain all of my glasses. Um, so I, what I decided to do was to uh, change out uh, my annual maintenance on the mower, which I'm late on this year. Uh, but the idea is I have a great Honda, a Honda lawnmower. Uh, it'll last forever. And um, the way that you do some maintenance on it is a couple things. So first is the, the lawnmower has a spark plug. Um, Honda puts together a pretty awesome kit that has all the things you need in it. You need about 12 to 13 ounces of oil and they give you exactly that inside this kit. So inside the kit is oil. You have a filter or air filter, which I'm going to keep clean for a moment, and then a spark plug. And uh, all three are something that anyone at home can do, super easy to do. Um, so I'm going to show you that. And the spark plug does come pre-gapped. Spark plug on this Honda mower is up front. You're basically going to pull the boot off. There's a boot here. You just pull on it. You put in a spark plug wrench, which has a rubber gasket in it, and it grabs the spark plug. And then, basically, once it's on, you want to get this thing okay, loosened up. And this is actually in pretty good shape. Um, I do clean it off year to year, but uh, from the perspective of a new one, you can see how nice and new they are. Again, it comes pre-gapped, so all I have to do is really take this and then get it back into the, the hole for the spark plug. And these, these mowers start really easily. Uh, they have really great mechanics about them, so uh, the thing that you want to know is that uh, you want to have a spark plug in good shape because that will keep it so it's one pull i've never had to pull more than once even cold there's no choke and it automatically um, adjusts its throttle here it's a really cool unit so that's the spark plug now on the other side of the mower the side of the mower right here is the air filter this is super duper simple just push these two tabs down the whole thing comes out you put a new one in what i try to do is i put the new one in and make sure that it's sealed all the way around. It has a rubber or foamish gasket around it. Clean out anything that's might be in there, and then put it back together. Piece of cake. Now, let me snap that in. Okay. And then the last thing is uh, the oil change. And the oil change is really straightforward. It's not like a car where they have a, a plug you pull. The oil change goes out through the dipstick. So I'm going to turn this around for a moment. Notice I have a piece of cardboard underneath here because you could have some spillage. Um, I have a oil catch pin. Normally I would have gloves on. I'm going to try to do this without getting it all over myself initially. And what you do is you take the dipstick out. And before you ever put it back in, you're going to clean it. My oil looks actually pretty clean. And then you're going to basically tip the mower over. And while you're doing that, it's going to get into the corner of that bin. Whoops. So we're going to have it tipped over, let all the oil flow out. It takes a little bit of time to get all the oil out. Um, one other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to push this around because what I want to do is keep it off of the, the handle there. And you always get a little bit of oil spilling on this, but if I go like this, I leave it like that, it will flow my oil. You can see the oil coming out. Right. And while that's happening, I'm going to get a wrench to change the blades. All right, so every few years, uh, rather than try to sharpen the blades, I just purchase new blades. And um, these are genuine Honda blades. They sell them wherever they sell Honda mowers. So like this one I got at Home Depot, it was 29 bucks. And you'll see these blades mount like this and like this on top of each other. So I'm just gonna lay those down so I match that out. And then it's a 5 16th. I'm gonna take this extension off. 5 16th to get it off, which is what I'm doing right here. It's loose. And then I'm gonna take off this one. Now, 
I, I often hose down my deck. I was, uh, I was mowing and it was a little bit wet out this time. But uh, what you do is you pull these out and keeping it in the same exact format, you just put it back. It's that simple to change out blades, two bolts. Anyone can do it. And the best part is your cut performance with new blades will be great. You're not chewing up your lawn, leaving jagged edges and uh, places where, um, when you're cutting, when you have a poor cut, you'll actually have uh, the blades, the tops of the blades of the grass will brown out because it's not a clean cut. And it, it, it's kind of like when you cut a, a bush back and you leave the remnants of it, it doesn't look so great. So that's why we put new blades on every once in a while. And it's just easier than trying to sharpen these in my eyes, but you could, you could sharpen these with a bench grinder. Okay, so that's that. All right, so now I have uh, let the oil leak out to uh, into my bin. I'll put aside here. Uh, obviously, I did spill some, but I have this cardboard to do so. And what you do now is you just take that Honda, this is the right amount of oil to go in there. So all I'm going to do is basically open this up and pour it into the engine. You do need a narrow uh, funnel for that. I grab some paper towels here. And then once it's all out of the funnel, obviously clean the funnel out. And then you'll see this is a long disc thick. It has some um, knurls at the bottom there. You want to be at least in that when you're done. So if I tighten it up, I pull it out, voila, I'm there, new oil. This whole entire process, uh, air filter, oil change, um, air filter, oil change, spark plug, and blades. Took me less than 10 minutes, and it keeps the mower like it's brand spanking new. Uh, make sure that you wipe up all the oil. You don't want that to get on your lawn and potentially kill it, and uh, you are done. So, good stuff.